kids like you. This program is brought to you by Toyota. All these people want to know. Where in the world is San Diego? This is Jennifer Tsai. She lived in Taipei, Taiwan for two years and she speaks Mandarin. She has 765 stickers in her sticker collection. This is Michael Chamberlain. He runs track and plays football, basketball, and soccer. He likes visiting historic areas and snorkeling in Anguilla, where his relatives live. This is Kirsten Wisniewski. She plays basketball, softball, and soccer. She likes skiing in Vermont, playing the piano, and hanging out with her friends. And this despicable duo is Double Trouble, Carmen's pathetic pair of pathological pirates. Double Trouble, Double. Their last known whereabouts? Boston, Massachusetts. Fenway Park, home of the Boston Red Sox, was built in 1912 to see the great Ted Williams, Carl Yastrzemski, or Roger Clemens at this classic neighborhood ballpark. Oh, what a way to spend a summer night. And that green monster, try catching a ball that bounces off a 37-foot wall. Ah, Bostonians are proud of Fenway. They fill it for almost every game. Or they did until today, when Double Trouble, Carmen's brazen, burgling backstop stole not just the bases, but the whole stadium. You've got to stop them gumshoes. Crunch Carmen and foil the feckless felons of Fenway. <laughs> And here's the senior agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee! Hey guys. Thank you very much. Hi Jennifer. Hey Michael. Kirsten, nice to see you. Thanks a lot. Listen, I just want to remind you guys, if one of you catches Carmen San Diego today, you're going to get that trip to anywhere in North America. And that is not bad, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to start you off with 50 at me crying bucks. And uh, you guys know how this game is played, right? Okay, so we won't mess with the rules. Just let me get through some of this uh, mail I have here. I'm waiting for some pictures to come. Oh, here they are. My pictures are back. Yeah, I, last week I, I took a whole roll from the uh, hamster enthusiast convention. And wait a minute, these are not my pictures. As a matter of fact, they're not even, this isn't even addressed to me. It's addressed to double trouble. Oh, this is amazing. So... Obviously, the picture company must have mixed up my package with theirs. This is a very handy mistake. Take a look at this, you guys. Let's see, that looks like it's uh, Lake Ontario, right? This is a camera factory, right? And this is a reproduction of an old magazine ad from around 1910. Now, the twins must have taken these in the city on Lake Ontario where George Eastman lived. He invented one of the first easy-to-use cameras in his mother's kitchen. He started the Eastman Kodak Company and popularized amateur photography around the world. Now, the company employs thousands of people in the city. Matter of fact, I used to invent some things in my mother's uh, kitchen, too. Most notably, the fried jelly bean sandwich, but that's another story. Okay, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Erie, Chicago, or Rochester? Remember the clues that we heard. City on Lake Ontario and home of Eastman Kodak. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Trying to find Double Trouble and Fenway Park. Kirsten is ready. So is Jennifer. And Michael is ready, too. Jennifer, what do you say? I said Rochester, New York. Rochester, New York. Michael. I said Rochester, New York. Same thing. Kirsten. I said Chicago, Illinois. Chicago, Illinois. The answer we're looking for is Rochester, New York. Nice job, Jennifer and Michael. As you know, we give you 10 crime bucks every time you answer a question correctly. So that means, Jennifer, you have 60, Michael, 60, Kirsten, you're still right in there with 50 crime bucks. Nothing to worry about. For our next Greg, something's coming through the fax. Let's see oh, what goodness. it is. Well, gee, Chief, it's a molar bear. Well, well, look, there's a tag. Ah, double trouble are in a Canadian town known as the polar bear capital of the world. Every fall, bears wander through town heading to the Hudson Bay. Go to northeastern Manitoba and bring a parka or two. The place can be almost as cold as the North Pole. Well, obviously, this molar bear was supposed to be a polar bear. But the machine garbled it. Now, <clears throat> what on earth can I do with this? 
floss it each and every day to keep that nasty plaque away. You know that one, Chief? No? You guys know that one? No? Okay, cool. Never mind. Uh, name the town, if you will, please, guys. Is it Churchill, Fort Albany, or, or Inukjuk? Remember the uh, clues that we heard? Polar bear, capital of the world, located in northeastern Manitoba near Hudson Bay, an extremely cold climate. Jennifer is already ready. Kirsten is, too. Michael's still thinking about it. Now he's ready. Jennifer, what do you think? I said Churchill. Churchill. Michael, what do you think? Inukjuk. Uh, Inukjuk. What do you think, Kirsten? Inukjuk. Inukjuk. The answer we're looking for is... Churchill. Nice job, guys. Okay, so that means Jennifer, you have 70, Michael has 60, Kirsten, 50 crime bucks. Now, I yes. need to see your cards for a sec. Oh, sure. What's yeah, that? Yeah, there's a mistake. Do you want to take a break while I fix them? Oh, yeah, thanks. Okay. Cool. A break? Sure, I could use a break. Maybe I'll just poke around back here for a clue. Aha! Uh -huh. A Viking. Perchance the boys are in Southern Ireland, in an important harbor that's the country's second largest city. Now, how did he get that from a Viking costume? Wouldn't, like, a leprechaun be more appropriate? Well, you see, Pinch, Vikings sailed up Ireland's rivers in the 800s, and they established lots of cities, including this one. Ah, gotcha. Hey, you better get back to work. Here are your cards. Thanks. I guess we're just on the same wavelength. Okay, gumshoes, name the city, if you will. Please, is it Galway, Cork, or Sligo? Remember the clues that we heard. Ireland's second largest city, important shipping harbor in southern Ireland, and established by Vikings. Jennifer, you're very fast. You're already ready. Kirsten and Michael, now ready at the same time. Very nice. Jennifer, what do you think? I said Cork. Cork. Michael, what do you say? I said Cork. Cork. Kirsten? I said Sligo. Sligo. The answer we're looking for is... Cork. Nice job, Jennifer and Michael. So that means Jennifer up to 80, Michael 70, Kirsten 50 crime bucks. Okay, now guys, for our next clue. You guys know what that means? It's time for the lightning round. These questions are all about Double Trouble's most recent known whereabouts, which is Cork, Ireland. For every correct answer, we give you five crime bucks. So, hands on the buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. Cork City was home to an automobile factory that closed recently. The car maker's ancestors originally came from County Cork. Name the car maker's family. Iacocca, Ford, or Ferrari? Uh, Jennifer. Ferrari? Sorry, it's not Ferrari. Michael or Kirsten? Michael? Iacocco? Uh, it's not Iacocco, no. Kirsten? Ford? Ford is right. Nice job. How'd you do? Very nice, Jared. You're going to land back. Okay, you're up to 55. You're on your way now. Question two. Many streets in Cork City were built on top of waterways. In fact, the name Cork comes from the Irish word Corky. What does Corky mean? Marsh, Marshmallow, or Malamars? Michael. Marsh. Is right. Nice job, Mike. Five for you. Last question. Here we go. In County Cork, according to Irish lore, Sir Walter Raleigh planted the first of these in his garden. Did he plant a potato, an Irish rose, or a shamrock? Jennifer. A shamrock? Sorry, it's not a shamrock. Michael? Irish rose? No, sorry, that's not the answer either. Kirsten, it's a potato, an Irish rose, or a shamrock? A Kirsten potato? is right. <laughs> nice job. You're amazing at those. <laughs> Thanks up to 60. Jennifer, you have 80. Michael, 75 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. That's the way to do it. Now, Greg, for... come into my office. Oh, sure. Chief, I'll be right there. You guys just see me one moment. We've got a lot of things going on today. I'll, I'll be right back. Hang tight. What's up, Chief? Greg, I can't find the Acme Field Agents tracking folders. You know where they are? Oh, yeah. I put them down in the basement. What basement? I didn't know we had a basement. Sure, we have a basement. It's downstairs. What? I know it's downstairs. You said you didn't know we had a basement. I was... You know what I mean. Okay. Now, could you get them for me, please? I'd be glad to. Just okay. hold on a second. I want to check the uh, light on this thing, too, because it wasn't... Whoa! Oh! 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 Oh, here they are, right here. Oh. The light's not working, by the way. Oh, Greg. Oh. It's dark. Well, Greg. Yeah? There's only one sheet of paper in here, and it says, Note to viewers. Every time you watch the show, write down what got stolen and from where. When you've collected four loots and locations, write them down on a postcard with your name and address and send it to Acme Crime Net, P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. 
America. Every day, we'll pick five people whose lists are correct and send them each a Carmen t-shirt. Here's who won today. Congratulations to the winners. Uh, uh, Greg, yeah, this is great information, but yeah. the tracking folders... Oh, right. Uh, uh, be careful. I will. You know, it's so dark down here, Chief. Sometimes you have to really watch your step. But I've got my really nifty filing system, and I think most people would be very proud. Greg? Hiya, Chief. Oh, I knew there was no basement. Here we are in the middle of an investigation, and instead of getting the files I need, you're wasting time with juvenile trickery. Now stand up, mister, and get out of here. Here are your files. Remember, we're still looking for Double Trouble and Fenway Park. Fortunately for us, though, Acting Bugnet has just intercepted this phone conversation between Double